Howdy, partner. The Magnificent Seven is a remake of the 1960 Western film directed by John Sturgis. And while that is a classic Western film, I would like to review this film thinking about it as not a remake. Because lately, remakes have kind of sucked, and The Magnificent Seven was the complete opposite of suck. Because it was awesome. Basically, the movie is about a group of seven badass dudes who come together, led by Denzel Washington, who is led by this badass lady. Seriously, I love her. And they join forces to protect this little piece of shit town from being taken over by a bunch of douchebags. That's the plot in a nutshell, but all of the extra little details are what make this movie so great. The group is full of very different characters with very different skills and traits, and it's basically like the Avengers, but with cowboys. And one Indian. I guess he's like the Hawkeye of this situation, except it actually makes sense that he's there. Anyways, the point of the story is that it's more than just a group of dirty dudes shooting guns. It's more about the camaraderie of war and the power of fighting for what's yours. And that's just really awesome. Awesome. This movie also looks beautiful. The cinematography is on point. The setting really pulls you in and it's shot just absolutely stunning. From the wardrobes to the sets, the whole thing just really pulled you in and it basically just made you feel like you were watching a real classic western movie. And I think that's what I really liked about this movie. I'm a sucker for John Wayne in a cowboy hat and funny accents and a shootout in the middle of a dusty village. And that's exactly what this is, except there's like seven John Waynes. Chris Pratt is charming as always, Ethan Hawke is super badass, and Denzel Washington still holds up as the smoothest man alive. This movie honestly just has everything it needs to be a classic western movie. A group of snarky badass cowboys, a villain whose name sounds like an old 80s cartoon character, a pretty girl who is way more badass than she looks, and one hell of a shootout. The action in this movie is absolutely phenomenal. It's exciting, it's suspenseful, it's unpredictable, and it's shot in such a cool way that it just makes me want to throw my hand up in the air and be like, yeah! Plus it's got all the cool western goodies like gun spinning and trick horse riding, and just really cool dudes in cowboy hats. And on top of the well-balanced drama and action, there was also a great level of comedy slipped into this movie. It didn't feel forced or really slapsticky or anything like that, it just felt very natural and it was really enjoyable. It just felt like a group of guys hanging out and making jokes every once in a while. Now, there are a lot of differences between this movie and the original 1960s Film, which makes sense considering the 56 year gap between the two movies. But there is one change that slightly bugs me, and that is the fact that they changed the original protagonist, who is now played by Denzel Washington, and they just, they changed his motive a little bit. And this might sound a little bit nitpicky, and I normally don't care that much when they change things like this when the movie is a lot different from the original movie. And you don't always want a remake to be a carbon copy of the original, because otherwise you would just watch the original. But the change they made here is that basically the original protagonist was trying to save this town just out of the goodness of his heart. He didn't really have any other reason other than he was a good person, and he just wanted to help these people, and he was really passionate about it, and I love that. But in this movie, Denzel Washington's character is doing it out of vengeance. He has this much more selfish reason to take down these bad guys, and I don't really like that as much. Don't get me wrong, he is still one badass cowboy, and I would not mess with him, and he's super smooth and awesome, and I love him, but I think that makes him a little bit less likable, a little bit less respectable. But then again, that theme of vengeance and revenge is very cool and very now, and it makes sense that they would do it that way, so what can you do? Give the people what they want! This movie is also incredibly long, like 2 hours and 15 minutes I think it lasts, and so some things probably could have been cut down a little bit, but personally I didn't really notice how long it was, it didn't really bug me that much because this movie has a really great pacing and there's a lot of great action and everything is just keeping you engrossed and entertained constantly at a really smooth pace, so that helped make me not really realize how long it was, but if you're not a fan of super long movies, you might not want to choose this one. While I really did enjoy this movie and I had a lot of fun watching it and I think it's a really fun ride, I regrettably have to say that it is kind of forgettable. And sometimes movies like that are okay, I still had fun watching it, and that doesn't really mean that it's a bad movie. I really just mean that it doesn't bring anything new to the table. Everything that's in this movie is in every other old western movie and it's not really anything new or interesting in any 
unique kind of way. It's more of an homage to classical Western movies, which is still really cool and really fun to watch. I mean, when you remake something that's this old, a lot of what goes into it is very nostalgic material because that's what people enjoy and it brings happiness to people when they watch it because they're like, oh, I remember this movie and I remember when things happened like this and I remember these crazy awesome old shootouts and it just brings a lot of nostalgia when you're watching it, so it still makes it really fun to watch, but as a film it isn't really innovative or new in any sort of way. It's definitely a fun movie to watch for a western fan, and the ensemble cast brings together a great group of characters and their chemistry together works really really well and the acting is great. Overall it is a really enjoyable film with a great theme of camaraderie and fighting for what you believe in and all of that stuff is all well and good. But I'd say it was a little bit shy of Magnificent just because of the fact that it doesn't bring anything new to the table. Regardless, The Magnificent Seven is a fun time. It's a great time for any Western movie fan. I didn't have many complaints while watching it, and I did enjoy it from beginning to end. Did you see Magnificent Seven? Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Steph Koza, and this is Rated N.